Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the first things to do on Windows 11 25 H2. If you've just installed Windows 11 25 H2 or you've updated to it, maybe you want to try and do what I'm going to show you right here because we all know that Windows 11 25 H2 is going to come full of bloat, i.e. Copilot, Recall and all that other nasty stuff. We're going to be dealing with that after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro or Office keys, then check out some of the links in the video description. Head over to their website and create yourself an account. And all you need to do is basically click on the product that you want to purchase. Let's say you want to click on Windows 11 Pro. You'll be able to use this to either upgrade from home editions of Windows to Pro, or you can activate your version of Windows. It's very simple. Just click on the Buy Now button and this will add it to your cart. You can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. And that should give you a 30% discount on all of the purchases on CD key sales. Once you've submitted your order, they will then send you your key uh, via your email address. You can use that key to either activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right now. Check the video description for more details. OK, so back to the tutorial. So we have a clean install of Windows 11 25 H2 here, and you can see there is a ton of bloat inside Windows 11. It's a known fact that Windows 11 comes preloaded with tons of applications that you don't need, and you're going to have to go through and uninstall all of this stuff. Now, there's many ways to do this sort of stuff, but I'm going to show you a real simple way. Now, you won't be able to uninstall Edge, but I'm going to show you how you can do it here pretty safely by using this method I'm going to show you right here as well. So this will be able to get you up and running on your system and get it nice and clean and it will be really quick and easy. Probably within 15 minutes you should be up and running. So first open up the Microsoft Store and search for WinToys. This is going to allow us to set up Windows very very quickly and what we're going to do is get this page right here. Click on the blue button that says Get and this will download it and install it on your system. Now, once we get this installed, we're going to be able to use this to quickly make changes to our operating system. So obviously it goes without saying, if you're going to be using uh, this software, you do so at your own risk. This guide is provided for informational purposes only. I'm not responsible for any damage to your computer or loss of data. So let's go ahead and create a system restore point because it's always good to have a system restore point just in case you want to revert back to a good clean working state. So type system restore in the search and you should see right here the C drive is turned off by default. So we're going to turn that back on by clicking configure and then turn on system protection. You can give it a bit of usage right here. I'm just going to give it 2%. Apply this on OK. And now what we're going to do is create our restore point. What we want to do is call it before tweaks, just like so, and we can now click on create. This way, if you're not happy with what your results are, you can always go back to a clean state right there by using the restore point that we've just created. So we're just going to let that finish off and then we'll move on to the WinToys tool. That's now done, so we can now click OK, and now we can go back to our program. So inside here, what we're going to do here is look at the applications. Now, you're going to get a list of all the applications that you'll be able to uninstall. Now, some of these won't let you uninstall them through the Windows program, but you can use this program to uninstall some of the apps that are harder to remove. Especially if you don't need these apps, you don't want them on your system, you can just uninstall them right here. Just make sure you understand what you're getting into before you commit to anything. Now on the left hand side you can see there's a menu system here and you could just work your way through it. So what we're going to do is first start off with the ad section. Now the ad section is where Microsoft will push ads to you. They're basically profiling you and then they will send ads that are tailored to you. And you can see tailored ad experience, advertising ID, all of this stuff can be turned off in Windows but this just makes it super easy. All you need to do is toggle these off, just like so, and all of these features will be turned off. Next, in the privacy section, you're going to have a bunch of privacy settings that you can tweak. 
And these are your location, your telemetry, which is their data harvesting information. And you've got also customer experience and improvement program, apps, telemetry, and all that stuff. You just turn all this off because it's not going to be any good to you. And all it is, is just a way that they can collect data from you. Next, we've got some other options here available. So now I'm going to tackle some applications. What we want to do here is uninstall all the applications that we don't need here. So let's go to apps and inside here, you're going to get a big list of apps. Now, some people are going to want to use some of these apps and some people don't. So what you uninstall here is entirely up to you. So if you don't want to use, say, for instance, Copilot, by all means, go ahead and uninstall it. If you don't want to use other apps like the Feedback Hub, you can uninstall it. Again, I'm not telling you what to uninstall. The choice is going to be yours at the end of the day. So just go through here and uninstall all of the stuff that you don't need. There's quite a bit here, so it might take a bit of time. And this is probably the safest and easiest way to go about uninstalling it because you're in control of what you're uninstalling. Now, some people want to go as far as uninstalling Microsoft Photos and Microsoft Notepad and things like that because they're frightened of them harvesting information from those applications. There is alternatives that you can use and you can uninstall all of those from this location right here. So just go through and uninstall all of the stuff that you want to get rid of on your system and you can download and install alternatives for those. Now, we're going to be uninstalling Edge and we're going to be using something like Chrome. You can use whatever browser you like. If you don't want to uninstall Edge, by all means, leave it on the system. But if you do want to uninstall it, I'll show you how you can do it using this app as well. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and download a browser first. We're going to be using Google Chrome here in placement of Edge. It's important that you download a browser first because if you remove your browser, you'll have no browser on the system. So make sure you get a browser of your choice installed first before you proceed to remove Edge if you want to. Now, people that live in the EEA will have an option to uninstall Edge themselves. They won't have to go through this procedure that I'm going to show you right here. So first off, what we're going to do is change the default to Google Chrome. Now, if you're using a different browser, by all means, select which browser you're using right here. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and replace all of these to Google Chrome. Like so, it's very simple and easy to do. That's our default browser right now. So everything we use will be through Google Chrome rather than Microsoft Edge. So now we need to head back into the application because we've got some more settings that we're going to be tweaking inside here. So inside your tweaks and then inside system, you're going to see some settings that I'm going to turn on right here. These are essential for continuing with our tweaking. We're going to do end task here and also this Digital Markets Act right here as well. And we're going to move on. You can see mouse acceleration. I don't want mouse acceleration on, so I'm going to turn it off. Yes, you can do a lot of these in Windows, but this is all under one hood and it makes it super easy. Now I'm just going to quickly restart the PC. And then once we restart the PC, we should be back at our desktop. I'm going to go into settings here, apps, and then we need to go into installed apps. And now you can see we can uninstall Edge. So let's go ahead and uninstall Edge here. Say yes. And that should now remove that from the computer. There's a couple of more bits I want to remove in here, like calculator, remote desktop connection. But you can go through and remove what you want from your PC, because at the end of the day, it's your PC, you can keep and remove and uninstall whatever you like and make whatever settings you like. So I'm going to go ahead and continue right here. And this will then remove this from the computer. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And I'm just going to finish off here with one last thing here and remove this one right here. And we will need to restart one more time once we've done this because it wants you to restart. So I'm going to say no here for now and just remove calculator as well. There we go. And that should now be done. OK, so we're back in the application and we're looking at the services here. Now, if you want to mess around with the services, you can do and turn off which ones you don't want. I'm personally going to leave these alone, but there is a way to set these to disable. If you want to do that, you can do.
But for this video, I'm going to leave the services area alone. So let's go back into our area right here in performance and we can set our ultimate performance plan and we can do our startup apps. You can see I've turned these off here and then we've got relaunch apps, background apps. We definitely don't want background apps running. So I'm going to turn that off. We've got activity history there. We can turn that off and visual settings. You can set this to best performance if you want to by turning it on and it sets it like this. Turns off all the features. A lot of people like doing that on older systems. You don't really need to do that on a modern day computer, but if you want to mess around with that, you can do. And you've also got some gaming settings right here again, like game mode and all that sort of stuff. So you can turn off and turn on whatever you like right here. With that done, we're pretty much coming to the end here where what we're going to do is we're going to turn off search indexing right here because a lot of people like to turn that off. And what we can do is click on this one here because there's a few settings inside here like search history. We can clear all of that. Microsoft account, we can turn that off. And also work or school account, we can turn that off. Let search apps show your results. We can turn that off as well. And there's some other settings that you might want to tweak inside here. But again, you can see it's now turned off and it's not running. There's a few more little settings that we can tweak here. So let's go ahead and go into our health section. You can see file startup is turned off. We've got storage sense. We can turn that off as well. You've got drive optimization. If you don't use that, you can turn that off. I leave that on because, um, because I've got an NVMe drive and that would obviously be using the trim command on those drives if it's supported. And there's a couple of more little bits here you can see. And what we're going to do here, I think we're pretty much covered here now. We've got File Explorer, which we can tweak. So let's go ahead and we'll click on File Explorer right here. And let's take a look inside here. So you've got Show File Extensions, Show Hidden System Files and Items. You've got the Home button here, Gallery. So I'm going to turn these off. And we also want to set this to... Uh, this PC so let's go there and do that and we've got a couple of little items at the top there so let's just quickly change this here you've got the classic interface right there as well so you can change it and customize it to the way you like but shows you how quick this is to get your system set up you have full control you don't have to go rooting around the computer to find these settings they're very easy to find so I think that's pretty much it. We've got God mode here, developer mode. There's a bunch of other stuff here. So let's go ahead and what we'll do now is we'll restart the PC. And I'll show you what the end result is. So let's go ahead and restart the PC. It's going to customize our features for us. So let's just go ahead and let that do its thing. And then when we get back to the desktop, we'll just polish off, tidy the taskbar up, and we should be pretty much done. So we'll just quickly let that get back to the desktop and there we go so let's sort the uh, taskbar out here because we don't need to search anymore so i'm going to go ahead and go to taskbar we can turn off that widgets right there we can either have an icon here or we can even uh, hide it completely if you don't want to use the search so let's go ahead and hide it turn off that widgets right there and there we go we've got some other areas right here we've got notifications that's fine and we can turn off some of these if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And once that's done, so let's quickly sort out the uh, personalization and the start. So we can uh, turn off a couple of these show recommendation files. I don't want any of that sort of stuff. So I'm going to turn all this off. That's another one. Show recommendations for tips, shortcuts and new apps and more. More pins. And we can also turn on these features right here. Let's just add some shortcuts to the start menu. So let's go ahead and turn them on. And we are pretty much done here. So we can now let's take a look at the end result, see what we've got here. So you can see it looks already very, very clean. And when we look at the actual uh, icon here, this one here, I want to get rid of this. And we can get rid of this with a registry key. So I'm going to go ahead and 
apply this registry key right here. And there is a few other registry tweaks if you want to add those in. You can do, so I'm just going to quickly add this to the registry. And then we will need to restart the PC one more time. And that should remove that from the PC. But you can already see it's looking very, very clean. As you can see, no adverts there whatsoever. I just want to do a couple of more little changes here before I restart the PC. And that is to do with recall and to do with Copilot. I want to make sure they're completely off by using a group policy. And you can do that here. Now, I've shown you how to completely tweak the system using group policies as well. And that's also another way of doing things if you want to speed things up. You can spend a bit of time doing that and then obviously save these and then just drop them in and all these settings will put, be put in place. I'm going to be doing this right here just for these. I'm just going to concentrate on the um, recall settings and also the copilot. Make sure they're turned off because they're the two that are probably more concerning for most people. So I'm going to get those turned off. And they're pretty easy to find. There's the Windows AI right here. Allow recall. So we've disabled that feature and there's another few right here. You can go through. I think once you turn that off, you don't have to turn the rest off, but you can do if you want to just to be sure. And again, we want to make sure that we have the copilot and you can do that on the user settings. So if you want to turn that off, by all means, what you can do is go down. Let's go back. And we're going to go down to user configuration here, administrative templates. And from here, what we need to do is go inside here and these uh, Windows components right here. And you should see down here, there is a Windows AI and a Copilot. Let's just do the Copilot first and turn that off. We don't have to worry about the AI recall because we've done that on the computer level. So we'll just completely enable this feature and it will turn off Copilot. So you shouldn't be pestered anymore because we've uninstalled Notepad We've removed uh, the edge and all the other stuff, so we shouldn't have it on the system. And we'll just quickly restart one last time and we get back to the desktop. And you should see right here now, there's no more icon on the uh, desktop here. It looks pretty clean. There's no bloat on here whatsoever. All the apps are removed and all your telemetry and privacy settings are all turned off. So you haven't got to worry about any of that sort of stuff. And if you're new to Windows 11, unfortunately, this is the sort of hoops you have to jump through to get a nice clean system so you ain't got all the bloat inside there. And it's just one way of getting your system nice and clean. And I'd advise you to do this as soon as you've installed Windows on your system. And you should have a, a really nice, tidy looking PC without all of the unnecessary uh, bloat on the system. So it's just one way of doing it. There's many ways to do this. This is just another way I wanted to show you. It takes little time at all. I mean, literally 10, 10 minutes of you just messing about there and you can get it exactly how you want it and have full control of what you're removing on the PC. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate it and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.